Greetings everyone, welcome back. That's where we are, the Abbey. And we are going to use this ladder because that's pretty sure that was the last shortcut we opened up. The last thing we did in the last episode was get this uh, spiffy outfit. The fox outfit. Um, and, well that's it basically. Now we're just uh, moving on. I did get an achievement that said I had uh, done all the decipherings of the um, cryptic puzzle boxes. So that is done with. I think we need to go this way. So that kind of reaffirm reaffirms a bit that we are getting close to perhaps an ending. Bye. They were trap. What? What? Oh, it's you. Right, you explode. I have I had that happen to me last time. I actually fell off. Okay, this is wait, well it's not so bad actually, because you're Where does this lead? We go down. Oh, half a moonstone. Okay, Fable Catalyst. Attribute Ample. Ample. Oh, hello. I'd actually not seen you there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that happens when disruption happens. We die immediately. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. We could go down, but I want to take care of that guy. There we go. Are you going to come all the way here? Guessing that maybe we have to go down anyway. This might be the better option though. We'll survive this, right? We'll be okay, I think. over there. Yeah, his attack, disruption attack lingers. Hello. the outfit what does the amulet do plus three motivity and technique hmm. interesting but yeah if you were running a, a weapon that has you were using a weapon that does both scales both of motivity and, and technique that might be uh, that might be a good idea actually hmm there's something behind there
And then you could also equip the uh, plus fours. Yeah, you can wear four amulets, so you could do a plus four to advance, uh, plus four to motivity, plus four to technique, and plus three to both. We get some. Uh, that's like. Um, hang on, eight, eleven, fourteen levels. Yeah, too slow. I gotta admit, usually in games I'm not too bad with um, kind of my fear of falling off stuff. But now, <laughs> for some reason, I'm very aware that I could be falling off. Maybe it's because uh, we had that problem where one of them exploded and I fell to my death. So we could go down, but we could go here. Not sure which to take first. Which one is the uh, the optional route? Eh, yeah, kind of looks like this is the way forward. So yeah, I might have mentioned this before. I I am not big on achievement hunting or anything, but I do find it quite interesting to look at statistics once in a while to see how many people actually got an achievement, even though those statistics are kind of skewed. Um, because there are people that don't upload that data so you might they might not show up and uh, I'm pretty sure from what I've heard it's not too hard for people to just um, build an um, are you one of those build a little uh okay we can probably run to the middle one Maybe not. No, we don't. <laughs> All right, uh, because I was in the middle of a tangent. Yeah, b build a, um, a a little program that unlocks um, achievements for you. So on Steam, they're pretty um, meaningless, I guess you could say. But nonetheless, they do. They went in. Pr <laughs> so here we are, more than thirty hours in. I'm getting a uh, a pop up near the end of the game. Use Purification to remove the status ailment. Uh, break. When it break, your character's HP recovery through pulse cells immediately decreases. Oh, I didn't. Well, a good thing they showed me. I didn't know what break did actually. I thought break uh, stopped you from regaining stamina. Well, that's another one then. Anyway, I'll make my way back. So I'll see you in a bit. And then I should try to remember to talk a bit about. Um, achievements and kind of the percentages all right we are back yes so could I just do them one at a time yeah probably that might be the best actually skip this one better be safe than sorry let's hope you're not okay you're a spewer nope you're one of those okay That's for the best, actually. Made it. Yeah, I was talking about percentages. Um, I think it's kind of interesting to see. I, I had the, the same thing with Elden Ring. Because everyone... A lot of people might be complaining, Oh, the game is hard. Well, I don't think that's the main complaint about 
Did it change? What what changed? Are they now gone? Yeah. I've I've really been avoiding the uh, Steam community hub or anything really about about Lightspeed. I just I wanted to go in kind of blank. I don't really know what the consensus is of this game. The only thing I watched uh, was. Well, in the beginning, I just watched the. Uh, 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 when it was releasing, I just watched the Metacritic score and kind of the overall reviews of it. And you know, when it's like at the high end in the nines and the low ends in the sevens, I'm kind of like, yeah, it's fine, I'll buy it. But it didn't. Uh, I didn't want to spoil my, uh, uh, stuff. Um, anyway, where was it going with my story? Hello. Oh, I don't know you. Actually, Shock is the one that. Uh... Come on, stamina. Oh, we don't have stamina because we don't have Legion Caliber. Yeah, uh, uh, so I don't know if this game is perceived as difficult. I, I doubt it. Because, well, maybe it was, because they did nerf it quite a bit with the first patch, I remember. First patch kind of said we nerfed this boss, nerfed this boss, uh, boosted the Spectre's health. So I think they can s probably a lot of people said it was too hard. Maybe the developers themselves kind of went went in and readjusted. Also in the Nexus there was actually an easy mod, which for this game uh, um, has me thinking. Well, it's offline anyway, so if you want to mod it like that, go ahead, I guess. Same is true for Elden Ring. I think a mod exists that's basically easy mode, but. I think it forces you to play offline, well, as you should. We gain uh, false advantages, because that game has, like, co-op and PvP. Um, I think that's always interesting to me about uh, achievements and percentages, is just to see how many people actually rounded, roundabout-ish got to this point, or actually managed to do this. And then I always am surprised that the numbers are quite high. Also with Elden Ring, where there was kind of a lot of um, irk going on with it being so popular with a lot of people, and then a lot of people didn't really, um, you know, it it is a bit of a, a gamer's game, you know. Some people say. Ooh. It is a notch above casual. Let's uh, let's say that. But then, still, a lot of achievements were like, even like the harder ones, were in the high 30s of percentage. So I'm like, I think even for more for the for the most casual of games, that's still quite high. Because uh, uh, from what I what I've been told is that most people don't finish games anymore. Most people. Uh, this is a long elevator. That means we're we're high up. So okay, good. And we get a boss fight. Let's go here. Okay. We do have a quad, so I could go back and get an upgrade for something. I was the first to be completed. I will go forth on my own into the new world. Let's head back to Krat. Or should we? But, um, how much does it take for me to level up? It, uh, almost 16,000. Do I have... Oh yeah, I can get there. Let's use one of these. And... Uh, well, actually, I don't need... I could just use one of these. Yep. 
Oh, and we can level up by uh, fire the stargaze now. I'll get capacity because we won't be slightly heavy anymore. There we go. Nice. Now we can just wear this big chunky sword without being slightly heavy. Um, which I'm guessing helps with stamina regen, although so far I've not seen much of it. Uh, let's see, the cube has fire damage for the spectre, which might be interesting. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can actually. Well, pretty sure you don't. I was wondering if you could make mix up your, uh, but I think you can only load it with one type of, of uh, jewel or whatever they're called. Because having the fire damage is nice, but being able to heal him would be nice as well. I don't know if the fire damage is good, because I don't know what we're fighting. We might be fighting a puppet, actually. Eh, let's go. Might not make it, uh... We were pretty lucky last time. I got it. I got the boss in one go. I don't expect that to happen anymore. Don't put your controller down when there's rumbling going on. Oh, it's you. Yeah, uh, yep. You killed Victor with one fell hit. We do have a nice weapon. Pretty cool. All right, go Spectre. Hey, you're different. You've got a different weapon. <laughs> I'm, I'm still. I'm wearing the wrong ring. Good job. All right, changed up some things. Let's see get about giving the spectre electric damage. Uh, still going for me, yeah. Doing well. Mm. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he has two. Well, a second form at least, but... Uh, are you named Carlo by chance? Or Romeo? Or was Romeo the puppet king? Oh, Simon. Or are you a lady? Right. 
Long gone. Okay. Um thing is, we um we don't have um what shall I get? Uh, Eladoro is uh, is gone. Echo obtained from Le Lexasia. The complete. It is packed with immense power. A treasure hunter may want this rare ego. The alchemist Adriana was baptized by the Le elixir and she became the first whole being. Everything about her was perfect except the fact that her feelings for one person could not be erased. Hmm. Well, guess we'll uh, push on. I could change up something actually. Uh, let's go back to the flame. Flame. Dear flame. Uh, grinder cube. Let's go with that one. Spectre was close close to death there. But yeah, now he actually survives stuff. Uh, before the patch he wouldn't really. Oh, put a weapon away, something's gonna happen. Sophia. It's a real form.
please. What? What, what do we do? I, I, I don't know. I, I can't make this choice. I think she wants to live, but... What will you do? You have to decide. You, not me. Keep her alive, perhaps against her wishes, or... Or give her peace. It, it's your call. Give her peace. Thank you. I was trapped for so long. So much torment. So much pain. Take my ergo. I will be with you to the very end. So yeah, once again they use uh, the hair as a sort of uh, narrative device, whatever you call it. My blue fairy. I think there were, well, the uh, the blue butterfly was used a lot, but I think a blue fairy was mentioned once or twice and actually it didn't make the connection. <laughs> Dashing haircut turned bright white. Yeah, that's the thing with some of these um, it's kind of moral choices uh, games let you make at some point where it's um, somebody asks, uh, basically asks you to kill them and. You might think, well, I don't want to do that, but <laughs> kind of from a roleplay perspective, I'm I, at some point I'm like, well, you know, we've been doing it for so long now. Where was the Isabel Street entrance? Who do we have to talk to? Oh, wasn't there the uh, yeah, the weird uh, kind of. Experimental, uh, the, uh, the fella that was experimented on, he said he would go to uh, the Rose Isabel Street. So yeah, we might check out, check up on that, but I, I'll go to Hotel Crot first. With unsurpassed sorrow, I must announce Lady Antonia has passed away. Hmm. As she entered immortality, she seemed at peace. Her face was calm, and she wasn't in pain. It is all thanks to you. Without your most difficult of choices, she would never have found such peace. As for me, I am bereft of emotion. My life, or what passes for it, has lost meaning. It feels like pain has swallowed me whole. Thus I plan to erase my heart and become an ordinary puppet. This will be my last conversation with you as Polandina. Despite how it ended, I thank you for the kindness 
bravery and beautiful moments you showed me. Aww. Welcome to Hotel Krat. I need some of these. Welcome to. So, are you not covered as of the other? So, yeah, is he like mind wipe now? Let's go see. Uh, well, not Antonia. She left something behind. Sherry scented letter, memory of beach. To the wonderful gentleman who gave my precious time back to me. That time I met you was light itself. Whether you're that child or not, I think you're a kind, precious child. Thank you for giving my joy back to me in my last moments. To the young gentleman who resembles Carlo, Antonia Carasani. So, uh, Carly, Carlo is... Uh, okay, this looks like we can do something with it now. Let's see. Golden Lie. It's a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Swing your weapon to attack and defend. A mystical wooden rod obtained from the boy's portrait. Fascinatingly, it extends and retracts at a whim of Geppetto's puppet. There are two kinds of lies. Yours is the lie that makes your nose long. The boy loved the fairy tale about the wooden puppet's adventure. At least the wooden puppet's father was kind. Huh. Maybe I should have a look about upgrading. Let's see what it takes. Is Eugenie still there? Yeah, you still there. What about... Okay, Vanini is still around. Antonia is dead. It doesn't feel real. She was sick, but her personality was so formidable. The hotel feels empty without her. I would have done everything I could to help with weapons. God damn it. I'm so tired of people I know dying. So you'd better not die. If you can't stay alive, I'm gonna beat you up. You're she, here. That's a relief. She thinks we're people. Hmm. Uh, couldn't we alter it to B? Yeah, it'll only go up to B. So, still not great. Uh, that's all there is to do here. Let's uh, try the, uh, the Rosa, Rosa Isabel Street. Alright, so. I'll have a look around. If I see something, I'll, uh, I'll be back. So yeah, time unknown. This is kind of the... Uh, I don't, I'm not sure really. Oh, this looks new. The Witch's Tower and Princess, the final promise of Angelina, the greatest prima donna, experience fashion stories. No, it's not new. All right. Um, Yeah, I'll be back. Let's have a look around. All right, I think I found him. But, actually, <laughs> how do I get there? He's, he's right up there. Kind of... Um, Recognize his weird uh, posture. Um. I think I have to go round. I just took out all these enemies in this area. It took a while to find him. I went the wrong way. Ah, up here. I actually went into the sewer at some point, kind of found uh, I found a piece of quartz. Mm, this baby. 
Please. Thank hey, you. over here. Yep, there you are. Nice to see you again. I thought if I got a second chance, I'd go to where my heart's content. I never expected to get out alive. Oh, it's overwhelming, even now. Want to take a look at what I have? I grabbed a couple of things before taking off. It's a new life, a new attitude, and simple pleasures like ordinary conversation. Nice loot, yeah? If you need anything, just say the word. What reason for coming here about what you saw? Hmm. I used to be a fan of the actress Patricia. Not the red actress Adelina, but her sister. Patricia had an angelic voice like her sister. If she'd become famous, they would have called her the White Goddess. Uh, but her career was cut short. She took poison and ruined her throat. Uh, I've only read others' memories, so I, I don't know the details. But the memories people had of her songs. You should have heard her voice in her prime. Something transcendent like that. It makes you feel alive. I survived. So I'm seeking out experiences like that. So, any more questions? We, uh... We actually had to fight her. So, she's dead. Both, uh... Her and a sister. Well, we, we fought the sister. Um, I am. I do have a mask, actually. Well, wonder if something would happen if we were to put it on. Did I go sightseeing? You bet I did. It's the heart of Krat. The theater, the Ferris wheel. There's so much to see. Although, most of it has burned down now, I suppose. Hmm. The most fascinating thing. I couldn't believe it. The writing on the back of a made puppet. I read memories, but still, any way you look at it, it's the made puppet's words. Probably designed like that. What kind of puppet would write that stuff? Still, it was weird. You should see it for yourself. We've seen it. There was a, there was a man who was in love with his puppet and the puppet loved him back. And they got married and we had to look for a corpse and uh, got the ring back for him and then that ring we ultimately gave to um, uh, the butler hey the white lady's hunting apparel and a weapon carcass crystal axe so ooh, and this Resistance to disruption. Okay, I, I, I'll take your entire stock. Hang on. Uh, nice loot, here. yeah. Taking that. Taking that. So, uh, I was kind of wondering if maybe we could hand in our... Um, a uh, uh, special boss ergo to to him, um, ergo, but I guess not. I never picked this up. Uh, you're one. Those. Yep, she blows herself up. Where does this lead then? Have I been here? Anyway, let's look at the. Uh, Look at the weapon. Huh. Pretty cool. Blunt. So yeah, it does do... Wait, no, it's an advanced weapon. For a minute there, I thought it was a motivity weapon. Well, it, it scales with all things, but mostly advance. Uh, right, the outfit, the costume. Um, there it is. The hunting apparel worn by the white lady, the woman who lost her song adorned her stage with the blood of puppets. Adorned her stage with the blood of puppets. 
All right. The sisters dreamed of a great stage. Their dreams now crushed the younger one dedicated to dedicated a stage in remembrance of a sister with the blood of puppets. Very fancy. So with the white hair and a red jacket and kind of this gnarly sword, we kind of resemble Dante from uh, Devil May Cry. Dimsdale, Dimidong. Hello. Ah, oh, right, now we're back here. Yeah, um, so I think I'll call the episode actually. And then next time we'll uh, carry on inside the, uh, the Abbey Tower. Yeah, that's the end of Sophia then. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, but uh, for now, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time. But for now, farewell. <laughs>